Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, and welcome to my channel, Twin Flame Ring Connection. In this video, I want to talk to you about these energies. You're in the void. You're in the void, girl and girls and boys. What is being in the void? Well, let me tell you what it's characterized by. And some people call this void, of course. Now, it's a feeling and it's characterized by low energy, like someone just dropped the mic, drop your energy, you feel low energy. You can also feel like you need to lay down and nap. And it feels a little bit like you're not dreaming when you lay down. You, you may, if you are a little bit more open, if you have certain chakras open, you may feel as though you have a sense of movement. Now, that is what this is. It is a transit. And in many ways, it kind of reminds me of uh, once when I took a train at night to travel. And it was nighttime and we had to sleep on the train. It was very peaceful. Even though this energy may not feel entirely peaceful to you, you're probably going to feel flat. There's a reason for that. But you're moving from point A to point B. There is a huge planetary alignment. Now, while that might be a visual effect from Earth, it is a distinct pressure of some of these lunar energies and certain planetary energies. One of the main ones is Mars and Ju Mars. The other one is Jupiter. Now, there's a bit of a tempering influence from aspects of Saturn, Uranus, Mercury, Neptune, but the main ones are going to be Mars. Mars tends to be a little bit heavier masculine energy. It's the kind of masculine energy that wants to go into combat. Fight. Fight for what's real. Fight for what's right. Now, that kind of energy needs to be tempered, hence some of the exhaustion. Many people are just feeling the net effect of all the fighting, fighting and fighting and fighting and conflict. Where is the peace? Well, for the people who are here to truly be in love, and I, when I say in love, I don't mean like some hulky thing, like some guy sends you flowers, although you can receive flowers and enjoy it and feel the romance of it, right? I am talking about that deep envelopment where you feel like the universe has your back, you are elevated and protected, things are not touching you, you can't observe them. That is the net effect of integrating your brand new light body, which is what I specialize in. I'm a Blu-ray twin flame and Blu-rays specialize in helping people integrate and prototype. That means like you're even if someone handed you a general thing it's like tailoring it specifically for you what do you like and love how do you love to eat and that's just some of the things for your day in and day out life there's a lot more how do you want to express your love that is a huge part of it how do you express it through work how do you express it through creating how do you express it and it's not like you think and you think and you say i think i'm going to express it today by baking a cake that is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about where your soul works it right through you and it's very compelling and it feels like the skies have opened up and blessed you and implemented all the door openings that you need. Isn't that a great thing? Well, that is the net effect of what happens when you work on your new chakras and your new connections. Please do not stare at the closed door if you feel like your twin flame is dragging their feet. You can be the one to move forward. One of you has to. One of you has to hold a position while the other one finishes up stuff. One of you is going to maybe have not so good a time of it. What is another reason for this void? Okay, I call it being in the void. I've had several people tell me all from the past week that it was already starting up. They're in the void. They feel tired. They feel draggy. They have no enthusiasm. They are maybe verging into apathy. Now that should not linger. 
if you're feeling that, that's not really appropriate for you, even if it isn't full-blown depression, even if you don't feel like taking your own self out, which I hope you don't. However, that being said, if you do, it's time to let me help you in a professional manner because I will tell you something. My work is the metaphysical wellness that you need. We focus on other things as well, such as nutrition. What are you taking? And we do the energy work that is multidimensional. What that means is it benefits your sleep time, your next dimension, your, your day in and day out lives, where you live and work, where you're going to be with each other and live out your life as you should be. So what does this mean for you? What this means quite simply is that there is a gradual in, inward, and sprouting of what's seeded in you to get you to blossom out and help you to really grow. And when you do, there's a corresponding thing on the other side with your other half, your twin flame, where they also blossom from the inside out. And is it a wonderful thing that even if you can detect things and you're going, I think I can sense what's going on on the other side. You don't have to have a conflict about it or a conversation or get your egos involved. It's a really much smoother way of doing it. What else in this void energy? I want to really let you know that while this is happening very swiftly, the solstice is actually a turning point. It's a, like a pivot point. It's like some people are going to pivot up and some people are going to hit the wall and some people are going to slide back into karma. What does that mean for you? And what does it mean to slide back into karma? They're staying in the same situation. They're believing the same things or they're living in the same situation. This energy is, is trying to make it simple by toting you along and why would you feel apathetic about your life or the world? I'll tell you why. Because you can't carry your worries, the things you may have done in the past, certain connections. You're not going to carry them. It's like your soul saying simply, go to sleep. Let me handle this part. When you wake up and when you want to start, you know, really using your light body, go to Patricia's classes ask Patricia to help you. But seriously, you are actually having some things being discarded on your behalf. That is what this void is for. It's not for decision making. It's for simply get still. Get still. Remind yourself that you do have a soul that cares for you. Remind yourself that you have a plan here. We all have a plan. You're a part of the plan and you're an important part of the plan. It may not feel like that sometimes, especially in the void energy. Because trust me, you can feel along the lines of, you know what? I guess I'm not doing anything. I guess it's over. You may even wonder if you're even here to do this twin flame thing. Am I here to do this twin flame thing? Is my twin flame really aware of this? Is my twin flame going to do this? Like, do they get to get out of this? No, nobody's getting out of it once you've activated. This is why some of us have been awakened to this early on so that we can get where we're going. We're paving the way. If you identify as a starseed, what's a starseed? It's someone from a planetary system who may or may not have been able for various reasons and yes in another dimension may have not been able to actually get some of this going for yourself so this can seem very new to you and it can seem like other people are old souls and they get it and you're missing the boat no you're not missing the boat we have equaled the playing field here just as much as I go through it, I format it, I create books, I create ways for people to do this, and I hold classes. 
I have classes pretty much every weekend, usually when people are off work, so that you can do this. Yes, there are Zoom classes. Yes, I do some online, or uh, sorry, live classes. Yes, I teach things. Yes, some of the things you need to know are along the lines of your nutrition, of caring for your reproductive system, of caring for your cycles. That is another telltale sign with females. Your bowels, you're either going to liquefy everything and get it out, or you're going to be stuck and plugged up. And which are you? Are you constipated or are you having diarrhea? Either way, please do yourself a favor. Eat very light. Have a lot of liquids. I teach that, especially in one of my books and in my classes. I've done juicing for a long time. Um, I will be teaching more and more of that so that you can learn it. What else do you do? Pay attention because even if it is not exactly the time for your menstrual cycle, you'll feel things. You can feel crampy. You can feel aches in your legs, tenderness in your breasts. You can feel a dragged out feeling. You may even wonder, is this sort of what postpartum depression feels like? Like, did you make a big push? In some ways, it is very similar to it. But it may not be, especially if you've just not given birth. But your body has memories there that are telling you certain things. The clues of your body speak to me. When people talk to me in a session, the whole picture opens up of what's happening. And I know how that we are going to shift it, what recommendations, and what spiritual guidance to get for you. It's a lot different than other types of readings because there are two people. And what you do positively pulls your other half along. Even if you're dragging them behind you, dragging them behind your truck, they're going to do it. How do they do it? They do it by osmosis. They do it by feeling it through the same similar connections and through the higher self. You're continually guiding each other. That is truth. How it plays out in the physical can sometimes take some time. This is why you have to focus on you and get where you're going. So are you in the void? Do you need some help? Please look below in the description for links to have coaching have a one-on-one -on -one session. We also do energy healing and we also do energy healing combined with integration of those parts of the light body that you need to get your spirit really blossomed out and expanded. That is true spiritual maturity. It's not, you know, catchy phrases that you go around saying. It's your discernment. You deepen your discernment. You feel what things really are. You feel what they mean. Are you in the void? Let me help you through this energy and let me help you on your twin flame journey. Thank you so much for watching. And I know that some people are not feeling well. Sometimes I feel like I wouldn't wish this upon anyone, right? But somehow we wished for it. We planned for it. And we have ways to get ourselves through it gracefully and with love. And that love feels makes it feel like it is one of those high-level experiences. So thank you so much for watching. Bye now.